November the 5th, 2017. You're looking at a picture of Devin Kelly or Devin Patrick Kelly. And this is who they're saying was the shooter in the Texas church. He, uh, ex-military, dishonorable discharge. This is supposedly his Facebook page. Got a picture of, I think that's an AK-47, guys, I'm not sure. Uh, Antifa flag, a picture of him and his kid. Now, October 29th, these are the images. The gun on the couch, him showing um, himself and the gun in the left area. I've got great concerns about this. Now, this is the newest picture. This says November 5th, and he's grown a beard, mustache, converted uh, to Islam. It says, Texas church shooter, 29-year-old U.S. Marine. I've also seen a couple reports saying Air Force, not sure, turned Muslim convert. Now, he's calling him, or he did call himself, before he went straight to hell today, Samir al-Hajid. His manifesto is making its rounds on the web. Says the shooter walked into a church in Sutherland Springs, Texas at 11.45 a.m. Church goers knew the shooter. Devin Patrick Kelly, who carried automatic weapons. I think his mother-in-law was from this town from reading some of the reports. Now, here's my concerns. We know that the protests yesterday from Antifa were set up to try to bring about civil war, martial law, Something to that effect, okay? Now, we've got a Antifa member, Muslim convert, which kind of throws them into the same bag, doing this the day after the, a basic failure on the protest. Remember, they said they would keep and continue until something was done to get out the Trump-Pence regime. Here's the problem. Who is behind it? Who is behind this besides this guy? Now, we know that um, if you looked at the first picture, he was a poster boy for our, our, the uh, Antifa protesters. Pro poster child, perfect. Couldn't made a better one. But I've said time and time again, the street protesters are just the bottom of the barrel, like this guy. But there's members of the media, social media, politicians, in every uh, phase of government into the banks that want this civil war. They've got to stop the Trump agenda before they're all put in jail or hang for treason. So what are we seeing here? And, and as soon as this happened, the Democrats and Hollywood started crying gun control. In what the gun control needs to be that everybody in church needs to be fully armed from now on. I will not ever set foot in another church where I'm not allowed to carry my weapon. And no one else should be either because that places you as a sitting duck. Now listen to what I'm saying. Why would this occur today? They didn't get the Civil War yesterday. They wanted to take attention away from Clinton and Obama about to go down with Mueller and, Co uh, and Coney for this uranium one fiasco. So every, there have to be diversions. You started within 30 days, Vegas, the truck massacre in Manhattan. Now this Vegas was the largest shooting in us history. This was the largest shooting in church in a church in us history. And the thing in Manhattan was one of the largest events of its type. Largest since 911. So, we've, what we've got is from the reports, which you can never really trust all the way from mainstream. And what's really coming out is they're putting Antifa and the Muslim Brotherhood into the same bag. And if that's the case, they need to be both immediately. And I hope President Trump gets his messages because he's tweeting now from Japan on his Asian tour about the shooting. That they both need to be classified as terrorist organizations immediately. Not just the street thugs, but everyone that identifies with them all the way through the government, through social media, and mainstream media. Terrorist organizations. So there's a New World Order chess game being played here. And it's very deadly 
But guys, arm yourself. If this is the way they want to play, it's not us calling to battle. It's them forcing the battle. Arm yourself. If you're in a state that doesn't allow you to arm yourself, get the hell out of it. The Bible tells us, woe unto those that build house upon house. And they're talking about big cities. Why? Because crime spreads easily. Disease spreads easily. This nonsense spreads easily. But this guy probably was at the Austin event yesterday with 50 people showed up, highly disappointed. He gets a call from the Soros-funded organizations. Oh, we didn't start Civil War. You've got to do something. He goes down into Sutherland, Texas, out of New Bronzeville, and does this. Guys, tell your pastor that you will not come back to church unless someone in there is armed and you need to be the one that is just to protect yourself and two-year-olds and 14-year-olds. They want to bring it on? Let them bring it on, guys. And it's not just, again, the street thugs like this. They have a upper command. Is it Hillary? Is it Obama? Is it deeper than that? But guys, this has to end. We're going to take the gloves off. You want it? You got it, buddy. You got it, Democrats. You have it, George Soros. We're tired of it. The nations are angry. You've been warned. It's a heads up. Be safe.